Hey guys, Justin Bryan here from selfmadesuccess.com. In this video, I'm going to show you 20 websites that pay you $50 or more to write a blog post or article. And that is per blog, that is per post. And you can write in a lot of different categories, but if you enjoy writing, if you feel like you're pretty decent at it, and you want to make some extra money writing as a guest poster, then you can submit to these 20 websites and you can get paid at least $50. So the first one that I recommend you check out is Freelance Mom. And Freelance Mom is basically all about um, running a business as a parent. So you can go to freelancemom.com and they have a guest post guidelines page that you can check out. So this is what they basically require. They have a step-by-step -step strategy for doing it. You send your outline to lisa at freelancemom.com. They will let you know what they think. They have some other things you might want to think about, different guidelines. Um, they should be between 900 to 1500 words. Uh, things like that based on your experiences, based on um, things you've actually done. That's the kind of stuff they're actually looking for in many cases. So um, if you are somebody who runs a business and is also a busy parent, you can get paid between $75 and $100 per post that you get published on FreelanceMom.com. Another one is Income Diary, and Income Diary allows you to make money about $50 to $200 per article uh, based on make money online type stuff or SEO, affiliate sales, traffic generation, um, things like that. So basically anything related to internet businesses. And you can make pretty good money, like I said, $50 to $200 per article. And this is the Submit Articles page. So it's called Submit Articles to be Published on Income Diary, if you want to look that up. Or I'll also have links to this page for you. But um, they have a lot of people on their mailing list, so they can get you quite a bit of traffic to your articles. So it's a great place to get discovered as well as to get paid for the publishing of the article and they do pay they are very specific and about not doing spun content so do not spin and rewrite a piece of content that's already been written they want something original um, and these are some of the things they require, first and last name, email, website, all that stuff. So they basically have a submission form instead of just uh, contacting an editor. But this is another one. If you uh, know a lot about making money online and things like that, you could submit to them, make pretty good money from your articles. Another one is Modern Farmer. So you can submit to Modern Farmer which is all about people and plants and animals and food, all that stuff that has to do with basically agriculture. And they reportedly pay around $150 per article from other writers that have done this. So these, this is the submissions page. It's pretty short and sweet. Um, you basically pitch your article. So um, you might go to some sites about writing and how to pitch articles for how to do that. I'm not going to cover that specifically in this post because I want to get to all these places that you can submit to if you are ready to do it. Um, many of them don't require a pitch that much, but uh, you can get some easy tips online from makealivingwriting.com and some other ones, uh, some other websites that are all about just how to help writers. But Modern Farmer, another one, if you know a lot about agriculture and things like that, these are their main categories here, and you can submit to them, pitch them an article, and hopefully make about $150.
Number four, the work online blog. So it's pretty straightforward. Obviously, it's about making money online. They pay $50 per post, and you can submit through this page. You get paid to write. It's called Get Paid to Write. That's the actual name of the page where you can look at their information about what they require for submitting blog posts. So they have a review process, um, publishing frequency. You can do a guest post every two months or so. So obviously you can't really depend on this as a major income stream, but it can be a nice little extra. Uh, they do pay you via PayPal, and that's nice. Also, they have an application form embedded in this page through Google Forms that you can submit to, and they will check and decide whether to publish your post. So you can read more about that here. That's basically the main stuff you need to know. $50 per post, as you can see there, via PayPal. And, you know, it's all about working from home, online, and things like that. Number five is Just Parents. So Just Parents is a, obviously about parenting and things like that. Pregnancy, parenting, they have forums, blogs, um, parenting advice, parenting tips. Uh, they have baby names, all kinds of stuff that basically parents would want to read about. So, um, and in many cases, like new parents. So this is a site that will pay you roughly about $60 per post. So you can expect about that much. And these are their submission guidelines. They have a contact form. Um, you can pitch your title of the article. And obviously it needs to be about parenting and things like that. And it's also a UK-based site, so just keep that in mind. Um, you, you may have a different type of audience than you're used to with a US-based website or something like that. This is at justparents.co.uk. It's not justparents.com, so just wanted to clear that up as well. It is a UK-based site. And um, it's pretty straightforward. You can have three to four links. Um, don't overly do links on any guest post you ever do and you only want to s pitch one specific article and then the you can actually pitch multiple articles they just need to be in separate pitches so they pay you within PayPal they pay you through PayPal within 24 hours of you being published if you're in the UK, they pay 40 euros, which is the equivalent to about $50 US. So those are a few things to keep in mind. It's all about parenting. It's a UK-based site, and they pay $50 per post. Number six is parent.co, which is also a parenting blog. So you can post non-snarky articles about parenting and family issues. Um, starting at $50 per post is how they pay you and you could go to the submit your writing page on parent.co and they're looking for different perspectives from different writers that can actually contribute to these topics so obviously if you're a parent you have uh, different stories different experiences and anyone else that you can talk about and get paid for on this site. Um, they have all kinds of examples, which is really nice, of good articles from guest posters that have been published so that you can go through that. I always recommend you look for examples first to see what they're looking for. Um, you can have humor, just don't be, uh, you know, snarky about it like they say. And you can send a pitch here by clicking this link. So that's about it for parent.co, $50, talking about parenting. And uh, you can see plenty of examples and things like that there. So there's really no reason for me to get into too much about what they want. But they have all the information you need. They do not leave anything out 
on what they expect from you. Number seven, the, the anxiety foundation. So this is about mental health and they want only articles on the treatments type and help of anxiety and information related to that. So they pay $50 for articles on this type. They require no bad language, so don't think about doing that. A minimum of 550 words obviously needs to be in good English. That's pretty typical for all of them. It must be unique. It means it must be, must be an original article. You can't spin one. You can't rewrite one you've already written. Um, they need to have relevant images and not be copyrighted. They don't want any copyright problems. So that's basically it. They have a form that you just fill out and then click submit. So anxiety articles that pay $50 each. Number eight, the Atlantic. So you may have heard of them. They get quite a bit of traffic. Um, they cover a lot of different things, but uh, the online health section reportedly pays $200 per guest post that gets published. So that might be one area you want to focus on. Obviously, you can go through their popular and latest articles to see kind of what they have. They're kind of a full magazine. Um, this is their frequently asked questions page. As you can see, pretty much anything you might want to know, how you can contribute to notes, things like that will help you, how you can submit a letter to the editor. Um, so there's not just like one page that I want to point to you where you would write for the Atlantic. There's many different pages here, typically under general, um, where you can actually uh, go through and contact an editor or contribute to the magazine uh, website and things like that and get paid so frequently asked questions your main questions about writing um, where you can submit a letter to the editor where you can contribute to notes things like that you don't need to worry about you know newsletters subscriptions and stuff like that but um, just go through and make sure you read through all the things about the Atlantic submissions, how you can submit a story for possible publication, uh, send books for review. You can even do that if you want. But um, this one especially would be a good one to read. Um, this is all about uh, how to submit to uh, the Atlantic. So they kind of have an all-in-one page that covers all this stuff, as you can see. So when you want to submit, they, they give you the contact information you need to do that. So you can send that. Uh, like I said, you may want to focus on the health section because they pay $200 per post apparently. Number nine, you can do book browse. So book browse is a book review site and book summary site. So we all know that if you read books, especially nonfiction, then a lot of books can be very long. It can be very tedious to read an entire book. Uh, I go through this all the time. I take notes on books. I read a lot of books on business, entrepreneurship, and personal development and things like that. And it seems like every other book I read is just way too long, even though it's still a good book and I have nothing but good things to say. Many of the books kind of ramble on and uh, tell a few too many stories that really just beat a dead horse and don't need to be said. But sites like these actually do book summaries so that you don't have to read through the entire books necessarily. If you want to learn the gist of what a book covers, you can go to a site like this, like Book Browse. Uh, they pay for book reviews. Uh, writers are accepted into their... Uh, reviewers area and then can earn $50 for a 600 word review so that's a great way to make some extra money is basically to do a 600 word book review and that allows you to 
actually make money from just doing reviews of books. So Book Browse, another great site. Um, and we all read books, probably, or at least a lot of us do. And if you do read a lot of books, then do some reviews, get paid, and make sure you look at Book Browse. And this is the page, of course, where you have the application form that you fill out. Quick thank you and submit once you filled it out. Number 10, get abstract. Looks like I left out an S there. But if you want to write for them, you can go to getabstract.com and fill out this form and send the application. So Get Abstract is one of the ones that pays more of a higher fee for articles that are good. They pay apparently $300 for longer book summaries. So um, the other one might have been a little more geared towards reviews. This one is not. They don't really accept reviews. They only accept summaries. So if you read a lot of books and you want to uh, publish what the website wants the most, uh, then Get Abstract would prefer book summaries over reviews. So $300 for a longer 2,000 to 4,000 word book reviews or book summaries. And that's basically where you read the entire book, you summarize it to where uh, people don't need to read the entire book to know what happens and what lessons are taught in the book. This many times applies to nonfiction. So this is what they're looking for. Um, you can use quotes, things like that, but obviously it needs to be an original, really basically like a long blog post that completely summarizes a book. Number 11, Gothamist is uh, all about like New York, basically. And it pays $50 to $150 per piece that is published from a guest on New York. It's all about New York City, and they're trying to expand coverages of that. So you can uh, make an account and things like that and submit through Submittable. Um, you go to this page, which is gothamist.submittable.com, which is where you would go to set this up. And you can basically make like a free account, a 1500 word uh, one is a good, it's kind of a good uh, length to go for. You could also do uh, like a 500 word profile. They have all kinds of examples of stuff that you might talk about. So the Gothamist, if you like to write about New York, maybe you live in New York, maybe you do uh, reporter work in New York or something like that, or you're very involved in the community, maybe you can write some great stuff on there. Obviously, fiction is not what they're looking for. They're looking for reporting and uh experience quality and length will determine your pay ultimately but you can get paid about 50 to 150 dollars per piece number 12 international wine accessories blog so uh you can talk about wine basic basically and that is what you can do uh not just about types of wine but wine cellars cabinets coolers accessories as you can see there's all kinds of categories Focus on those categories and your knowledge of them if you want to write for them. They pay $50 and up for articles. So 500 to 700 easily readable words is what they're looking for. Know their audience. Look at some examples. Have a two-sentence bio at the end of yourself. Just focus on being useful. And submit your post as a Google Doc to Alexa at swawine.com or swawine.com however you want to say it but that's what you do you send it to that email and then you're done number 13 New York Observer so another one that you can post to about New York and things like that they also do a lot of 
different categories. You don't just have to write about New York. They have politics, entertainment, arts, lifestyle, business, health. They're just kind of an overall uh, type of blog. So the New York Observer pays $100 on posts about politics and culture and things like that. Um, and they're big on the sophistication and the they're more geared towards professionals. So uh, metropolitan professionals, as they put it. So you can email the editorial staff here, pitch the right the uh, articles to them. And these are some of the other people that work here, but you might want to contact them directly with your article already written and pitch it to them. So this is where pitching skills come in again. Like I said, makealivingwriting.com gives a lot of advice on that. And there are other ones out there as well. But you can write about pretty much uh, any of these topics, but especially the ones about politics and culture, you could get paid like $100 a piece. Number 14, Paste Magazine. So Paste Magazine is a, let me get this pop-up out of the way. It is a pretty popular magazine that covers all kinds of different stuff. Music, movies, TV, games, all forms of entertainment, basically. And uh, food, drink, design, travel, tech on top of that. So you can... Uh, get paid about fifty dollars or more for submissions and that is in pretty much any of the different categories so you don't need to just focus on one necessarily these are the people you would look at and contact so you can figure out what category you're going to post in what category your article fits in make sure you've read some of the other articles that have been published so you know what they look for and then contact the editor and pitch the article to the editor, editor that is specific to that category. That's the best way to do this. So go through this list, contributor information page on pastemagazine.com. You can just go to pastemagazine.com slash contributor dash information and find this page and figure out the right editor to contact. Number 15, Upworthy. Upworthy is another one that you can uh, write for and pitch articles to. Yes, you do have to pitch. They don't really have like a submission form. Um, well, they do have, I guess they do have a form down at the bottom. But this is one where you might want to pitch. You might want to focus on pitching. They do, if they ever do actually give you an email of an editor or something like that, in my experience, it's much easier to get through when you email the editor specifically with your article than it is to, you know, just fill out a mass form where everybody else submits forms. So it's hard to stand out when you just submit a form. A lot of times they don't even get to checking all of them. Like, for instance, when I pitched an article to entrepreneur.com, I actually got through to the editor emailing them Better, better than I ever did submitting through a form. So if you have the choice, I always recommend you um, email over submitting a regular form. But you can just go ahead and do both. That's another thing you can do. Make your um, chances better. They want something surprising, meaningful, visual, shareable. Obviously, they want it to get them traffic because that's what they're interested in. Um, videos, being well, culture, breakthroughs, real life, the conversation. They have all kinds of different interesting categories that you can look at. And Upworthy pays $150 to $200 for a 500-word post. So if you can get a good post condensed into 500 words or so um, their short their stories are actually less than that in many cases then you can make a lot of money per word especially compared to most sites at 150 to 200 dollars so when you consider that usually you'd have to write like a 2,000 word post or more to get that same pay elsewhere 
you might want to definitely look at up uh, uh, upworthy I'll get it right in a minute to uh, submit articles number 16 your tango so your tango talks about a lot of different things you can kind of see what they're they're more about like relationship relationships family sex love self all kinds of stuff like that so it's kind of just about like you and your family your partners that kind of stuff it's kind of a unique website it's not really uh just an average website where they just cover you know politics and entertainment but they pay fifty dollars for posts in those categories uh, pretty much anything that affects relationships is basically what they focus on. So when you want to write for them, go to the Write For Us page at yourtango.com slash submissions and send pitches to the editor, who is Andrea Zimmerman. They have a link where you can email her, and they will show you where to pitch her. So you need to include the word pitch in your subject line. Make sure you remember that. Include the word pitch in your subject line when you do this so that she knows what's happening or he, whoever, whatever they are. Uh, please include your resume or bio and a link to a writing sample from your blog. Pieces on the site are generally between 500 to 1200 words. So it's very short and sweet. They tell you what they expect, and you can go through, see their most popular articles. That's always a good indicator of what really works well. In many cases, you'll get bonuses and things like that. You become uh, one of the most popular writers for them. So your Tango, another great one to write for. Number 17 is called Compose. So if you want to write for Compose, which is an IBM company, which should tell you that it is about tech. And they pay $200, and they also give you $200 in Compose database credits for articles about databases. So you're writing about databases. Not only do you get paid $200 cash, but you get $200 in credit with this company as well. So you get kind of a nice bonus on top of getting paid very well for your articles at $200. You know, a lot of these will pay you around 50, 75, but they pay a lot more for good stuff. So um, they kind of explain everything through here. You don't need to, uh, you know, dwell on this too much, but uh, make sure you read what gets published make sure you see some good examples and make sure you submit your idea through this form here and um, you can also email them as well so I would do both um, it's always nice to be able to email them as well they give you a few emails to work with plus a form but it's all about databases for an IBM uh, company and they pay very well, so I would recommend them. Number 18, the Graphic Design School. So if you want to publish an article about graphic design, then this would be a great place to do it. You could make between $100 and $200 per post, which is very good pay for a per post basis. And they pay $100 to $200 for articles and tutorials about Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, and other open source design tools like those. So that's what they focus on, all about graphic design using those main open source tools. Uh, they tell you all about very specific things about you know videos you can put in, images, how big the images can be. Um, instructions and guidelines don't let there be any copyright problems you know the pretty much the sub the uh, normal stuff they do pay via PayPal which is very nice they tell you that here and you also you also want to have a bio just like all the others a URL to your website uh, a Twitter handle and things like that so they tell you a little bit about images you can use 
and uh, how to submit. So make sure that you do something original, make sure you follow those guidelines, and make sure you uh, submit to the right person when you do this. But they have a great um, page that will tell you everything you need to know. It's called Write or uh, Get Paid to Write for Us. If you want the specific URL, it's the graphicdesignschool.com slash blog slash write. Number 19 is Big Gray Horse. So this is actually more for people who know a lot about Texas, probably live in Texas. Um, they pay $125 to $200 for a post about Texas. Photos must be included. So typically, if you've been to a lot of places in Texas and you want to write about different areas of Texas, different hotels, different landmarks, things like that, then Big Gray Horse is a great place to get paid to write about it. So um, you want to have pictures from vacations or places you've been, lived, etc. in Texas and talk, talk about that in your article. So Texas-based writers are preferred, people who actually live and experience Texas every day. That's kind of what they're looking for. So mostly, if you live in Texas, uh, write for them. They pay very well. And if you don't, well, you may have a hard time getting um, approved unless you're just like maybe you have family in Texas or you're, you vacation there a lot or something like that. They want about 600 to 1,000 words, by the way, in case you're wondering how long uh, the length should be. So please send your pitch and two published clips to laura at biggrayhorse.com. Texas Writers Wanted is the page if you want to go there and read this uh, yourself. Number 20, last but not least, is cultures and cuisines. So you can look at their submission guidelines page. It's all about eating and uh, things like that, different cultures. They pay $200 per article. As you can see, they talk about food and empires, adventures in eating, the family meal, culinary road trip. So it's kind of like culture and eating and traveling and eating different types of food and how they impact people around the world and things like that. Um, you can write in first person or third person, which is an interesting thing to mention. Uh, 800 words to 3,000 words. You can push the boundaries. They give you plenty to work with in their guidelines. They're not too super strict. Luckily, that's nice. Um, so these are some examples of some things you might talk about that would be interesting to their people. They do pay, like I said, about $200 per article. Article. It's non-negotiable, which why would you even want to negotiate that? Because that's very good pay. Um, and they answer a lot of your more frequently asked questions here. Um, they also tell you about who is behind the site, then the writers, and read more about them if you want. But you can pitch some good articles to them, get paid $200, and who wouldn't like that? So that's it for this video. If you feel like you got something from it, if you feel like you learned something or uh, got some ideas, maybe please like and subscribe so I can create more videos like this for you. Also, if you want to let me know what you thought about the video or you want to add to this list, maybe you know of some other sites that pay very well for guest writing, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you and get your, get your feedback and things like that. And the show notes and related content as well as the links I mentioned will be at selfmadesuccess.com and I'll also have a link in the description there as well uh, coming up in the next few days. So other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great day.